It's a deep. Yeah, I know. The Shonga. Yeah. The Shonga combination. Yeah, the Shonga combination. Throw in the band of Gavin Moon. Super dirty. And but you're gonna do what? Uh, just a land acknowledgement and just a quick reference. Land recognition. Land acknowledgement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Land recognition. Fine. And so it's not gonna get it. Yeah, yeah. Keep up in the ready. Keep and the the Shonga. Okay. Keep in the not gonna get it. The land acknowledgement.
What's up, Riverside? Hey! Who's ready to take some climate action? All right. How beautiful is this to see you all here today? My name is Josh Friday. I get to serve as the state's chief service officer for Governor Gavin Newsom. And today is such an exciting day. Not only is it a beautiful day here at Riverside, but it's beautiful to see all of your faces. People coming together to take climate action in community. Can we give yourselves a big round of applause? It's awesome. I want, to, uh, I want to first say that we have, we have several special people here today, including your mayor here in Riverside, your state legislators, your city council members, many leaders that have come out to be part of this day of action and to say thank you. Thank you to each and every one of you who's stepping up to remind us that when it comes to this existential crisis of climate change, we are not powerless. There is something that each and every one of us can do to be part of the solution, and you are proof of that today, and we're going to get through this crisis together. That inspires me, that empowers me, and I want to thank all of you for being out here today. And I now want to welcome someone very special in our community. If I can welcome Chief Michael Negrete to come and join me today. Let's hear it for Chief Michael Negrete. Before uh, Chief Negrete uh, says a few words and, and welcomes us all, uh, many of you probably know that yesterday we celebrated the state's 56th celebration of California Native American Day. <laughs> and Governor Newsom, to honor this day, proclaimed it Native California Native American Day, but he wrote something that I want to share with all of you because it's something that, that we believe in our heart and in our soul and in our bones, which is that when California Native people are able to equitably and safely contribute to their communities, cultures, and governments, California as a whole is stronger as a result. We are all stronger when we celebrate this. Chief Michael Negrete, I present to you this proclamation from Governor Gavin Newsom in the state of California, and thank you for everything you do. The whole time, Michael Negrete, Michael Negrete, Shogun of Tongue Nation, Corona Band of Gabrielino Indians, I wish you to be When I said good morning, everyone, my name is Chief Michael Negrete of the Shogun of Tongue Nation, Corona Band of Gabrielino Indians, and we are happy and honored to be here with you all. We are the stewards and caretakers of this land. We don't own it, but we are caretakers of the land, of water, sea, and air. The Santa Ana River has been part of my family's life for 5,000 B.C. We are the Wanawik, the water people, and um, we want to give a land acknowledgement. This land that you're standing on is Gabrielino territory. It was also shared with the Cahuilla and also other tribes of San Manuel. But please, let's let you guys know that this is, we are very honored and pleased to be here. And I'd like to honor um, the mayor of Riverside, Patricia Lock Dawson. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Hey, everybody. Wow, it's so beautiful to see you all. Look at you all today. Give yourselves a great round of applause. You know, as an environmentalist with a master's in forestry and a former national park ranger, you don't know how much this warms my heart to see everybody out here today. I feel like I've been screaming at the sky for years about this um, issue, so it's, it's wonderful to see so many people engaged. So, um, you know, as you can tell, <laughs> I, uh, I have very strong feelings about the environment and the river. I've worked on the Santa Ana River for a long time. And the river's been part of my work as a scientist for over two decades I've worked here. And so it's fitting that we gather here near the river for today's Community Climate Action Day. And I want to emphasize the word action, right, action, because climate is finally getting the attention it deserves, but much of that attention focuses on the potentially dire consequences of inaction, right? So when we come together as local communities across the state and the nation and take meaningful steps 
towards a better future for ourselves and our families, we are taking action. And uniting around this common goal creates bonds that keep us together. Those actions remind us of how much we have in common at a time when the seeds of division are being watered too often. So look at the number of volunteers today who've joined us all on this Saturday morning to make a positive change. This is how we're gonna make a difference on climate. Taking small but meaningful actions individually in our daily lives, then coming together on larger efforts like this. So thank you to everyone who's made today's event possible, to the volunteers, to the California Climate Action Corps members who are gonna be leading the cleanup. Let me see all the California Climate Action Corps members who are here. Woo! I think I might have some of my youth job fellows. So anybody out there from the Youth Job Corps? Yeah, okay, you're there. I know you are. <laughs> so this is a great partnership between city, state, and local groups. It's what happens when we put our differences aside and we focus on problems, not people, and we focus on issues, not ideologies. And that's why we're here today. So um, I wanted to thank Josh Friday for pulling us together today on this. I want to thank our... Uh, let me get the name right. It's not the Gabriel, uh, Gabrielino. You're the part of them, right? That's so, the okay. Shoshone Nation. Nation. So I want to thank them for doing the land acknowledgement today because yeah. without them, we would probably be in a lot worse shape. So um, with that, I would like to introduce my colleague, also another passionate advocate for the river who's done an enormous amount of work, Council Member Erin Edwards. She's fantastic. Please give her a round of applause. Good morning. My name is Erin Edwards, council member and currently serving as mayor pro tem in the city of Riverside, but most importantly, a former AmeriCorps volunteer. So it's amazing to see all of you out there. I'm thrilled to celebrate not just Climate Action Day, but also World Rivers Day right here by our Santa Ana River. And I've been a proud champion alongside the mayor and my council colleagues for our river. You know, this week I had an opportunity to hear Greg Boyle from Homeboy Industries speak, and he said something that really resonated with me. Again, as a former AmeriCorps volunteer, he said that service is not a means to an end, it's a beginning. And this event, this moment here together today, it, it raises awareness of all we need to do for our climate, for our river, but it's also the beginning of something extraordinary. We have a lot of dreams for our river here in Riverside to develop more parks, to create more recreational opportunities, to have more trees for generations to come. And I'm so proud to serve with all of those, with all of you who support this vision. And I would just want to take a minute to thank you for your service. Thank you so much. Now I'd like to bring Josh Friday back to the mic. All right, so today in addition to taking action and getting out there and working together and getting a little dirty, who's ready to get dirty? Let's do it. We have reason to celebrate today. Today is a day of celebration because a few years ago, Governor Newsom and California volunteers decided to create this program called the California Climate Action Corps. So if you're looking around and you happen to see these very, very cool shirts, and I know everyone wants one of these shirts, what you're going to see and meet is that there are several hundred people here today who have committed to take a year of their life and dedicate their time and their talent and most importantly their passion to protect our communities and to take climate action as Climate Action Corps Fellows. Let's give them a big round of applause. So today, Today we're going to swear them in, and I just want to make one, one point because it matters. And it matters because the whole world is looking at us. They're seeing how we're taking action. They're seeing how we're responding to this crisis. And this week, this week, President Biden created the American Climate Corps, which is something we can be so proud of. 
So I want to welcome your legislative leader, someone who is a fierce champion for climate, a fierce champion for opportunity, a fierce champion for action and building community. Assemblywoman Sabrina Cervantes is not only a leader of this entire community, she's a statewide leader, chair of the Latino Caucus, and she's here today to do a very, very special swearing in of our Climate Action Corps members. Assemblywoman Cervantes. Let's give it up again for our leader, Josh Fridays, who's made this dream a reality. Good morning, everyone. California State Assembly members, Sabrina Cervantes, proudly representing our communities in Sacramento, uh, also the chair of the California Latino Legislative Caucus. Uh, thank you for joining us on this beautiful Saturday morning in the city of Riverside for this exciting Community Climate Action Day. I want to applaud each of you for taking ownership of your community and volunteering your time to clean up the Santa Ana River. We are all too familiar with the devastating effects of climate change, so it is inspiring for me uh, to see so many young individuals coming together, committing themselves to taking meaningful action to protect our planet, create a more sustainable future for generations to come. Whether it's using your hands to clean up uh, the trash in your neighborhood or using your voice to advocate for change, it's each of you that has the power to make a difference. And by embarking on your unique journey to mobilize our communities through climate action, volunteer engagement, and educational service projects, our Climate Corps fellows will help reduce the impacts of climate change on the environment to improve the health and quality of life for Californians throughout our great state. California continues to prioritize and invest in climate resiliency so that all Californians can afford a healthy and safe future. I am proud to have supported a state budget that doubles down on the California Climate Action Corps by doubling the amount of paid service opportunities and ensuring ongoing funding to expand this meaningful program. We must continue to push for policy to protect our most vulnerable California communities that are often the hardest hit by climate change and subsequent disasters. This is something that is especially important to me as a mother of three young triplets, a millennial, and as a lawmaker to implement policy that preserves and protects our states irreplaceable natural beauty and bountifulness for our future generations to come. So I applaud each of you and now I have the distinct honor of delivering today's oath. So if I can prompt all the fellows to raise your right hand and please repeat after me. I will get things done for America. To make our people safer, smarter, and healthier. I will bring Americans together to strengthen our communities. Faced with apathy, I will take action. Faced with, conflict, Faced with conflict, I will seek common ground. Seek common ground. Faced, with Faced with adversity, I will persevere. I will, persevere. I, will I will carry this commitment with me this year and beyond. I am an AmeriCorps member, and I will get things done. As a, climate, as a California Climate Action Corps Fellow, I will take meaningful action to protect communities, promote equity, and empower all Californians to take climate action. Congratulations to each of you. 
And now to just uh, take a quick moment, I want to do what millennials do, take a quick selfie of all of us. Is that, is that okay? All right. All right, who's inspired? Who's ready to go? Who's ready to have some fun? All right, let's go do this, Riverside. And I now want to invite our general for today, Commissioner Friedlander. Matt, can you want to come on up? We're going to get our training, we're going to get our directions, and then we're going to head out there, get dirty, and have some fun. Thank you, Matt. Appreciate you, brother. Thank you, Josh.